Welcome to the channel guys, this video is for college and sixth form students studying level 3 BTEC IT. In this video we're going to talk about the different tools and techniques you can use to protect your data. This video is going to cover content for your unit 1 IT systems exam. Towards the end of the video we'll go over an example question you might be asked in your exam. I'll put a timestamp on the screen if you want to skip to that part of the video. So on the screen here, I'll have a picture of different types of techniques that individuals and businesses might use to protect their data. The first one we're going to talk about is file permissions. So people can restrict access to their files in a number of different ways. The next one is backing up and recovering procedures. So people can store their data in a different area or location to back up and store their data. Another way is through passwords. You can limit access to devices and systems by adding passwords so that only certain people can access the files. You could also limit access through physical measures like using locks and biometrics. Biometrics are things like fingerprints and face ID. You probably won't get any questions about digital certificates, but if you do, it's just a way of transferring data securely through an encryption. And this links to the last one with protocols, and it's the method of transferring data securely. On the screen here you can see different tools that a user might use to protect their data. The first one we're going to talk about is antivirus software. Antivirus software detects and removes viruses and other malware from a computer system. And if you are asked about antivirus software, you need to mention how it must be regularly updated because viruses are constantly being updated so it's important that we update our software as well. The second tool we're going to talk about are firewalls. These monitor the traffic that comes in and out of an IT system and it blocks suspicious traffic to prevent unauthorised access. So it pretty much stops hackers from gaining access to your device. But an issue with firewalls is that they aren't 100% effective and they can be easily exploited by hackers, especially if they're outdated. And the last one we're going to talk about is encryption. Encryption can be a good tool to protect your data because it converts your data into unreadable code. So if a hacker does gain access to your data, they won't be able to read what's inside. It's one of the best ways that you can protect your data because if someone doesn't have access to the encryption key then they can't access your data. But an issue with encryption is that the key must be maintained and kept secure. An issue is that if you lose your key then you can lose your data altogether. In this section of the video we're going to go over an example question that you might get asked on your Unit 1 IT Systems exam. So the question tells us about an advertising company that requires a high level of security for their new products. And the question is asking us to analyse two techniques that the advertising company can use to keep their data secure. If you are answering these types of questions, then just make sure and check if the question is asking for tools or techniques. So the first technique I said the company could use is by adding passwords on their systems to secure their data. And this is important because it makes sure that the only people that can access the data are trusted employees. So this does increase the security. By adding passwords to their files and systems, the company's made sure that people who don't have the password cannot access their files. In 10 macro questions, just make sure you are giving reasons for your answers. So when you are answering, just explain how and why a company might use a certain technique. The next technique that the company could use to protect their data is through backup and recovery procedures. So the way that this protects their data is by making sure if they do manage to lose their data in a fire or in some sort of damage then they have their data backed up and secure. Another way that the company could lose their files is through a hacker gaining access and deleting their files. So by having backup and recovery procedures the company makes sure that they can always gain access to their files again. 